Hello, welcome back to Just One Look, and today finally having a look at BAT on the Atari ST and in fact the Amiga. So first have a look at the Atari ST box, which was no doubt identical. So this was released by Ubisoft in 1989 and on various other platforms, including the Commodore 64 and the Amiga, of course. So this is the Bureau of Astral troubleshooters so we're traveling to I'm not quite sure whether it's a space station or a planet and we're trying to find somebody who's um, threatening to blow it up I think basically so this is the box so the Atari ST version is particularly interesting so we'll have a look So, we have two discs, an instruction manual, we have novella, but it's in various different languages and isn't actually that long. I think it helps a bit with the story in the game. So we've got a third disc. We have a Ubisoft Club membership form. Okay. Probably not particularly useful now. Now the interesting thing is this. Now this is supposedly a 16-bit sound card which was plugged into the Atari ST to play the sound in the game. Now I believe you have to use it but it has no speaker on it so you have to use earphones or another external measure. Now it's very debatable whether it improved the sound on the game more than it would have been anyway but it's, it's quite an interesting thing, quite an oddity. Now this one does still work, my copy works fine on my Atari I'm pleased to say. Interestingly, a lot of people were saying that the cassettes and discs from the 8 and 16-bit era would have uh, decayed and generally not be readable, at least partially. But every single one of mine is still fine that I've tried. And this sound card still works. Probably is a bit better than normal SD version, but I think the CPU takes a hit because of it. And it's not amazing. But anyway, so that's the the box. And now we'll go on to the game. Hello and welcome to the game. So this is actually the Amiga version. I could not get the Atari ST version to work on anything. Perhaps it's because of the sound card. But they're very similar. So not going to worry too much. Not, and not that I'm anyone, a sort of person who thinks anything wrong with the Amiga. That's a great computer as well as the Atari ST. So here we are. Bat. So if we right click we can go to view the, the options, so we have the game, we have creation, and ESP. So let's go to creation. So here we have different stats which affect our skills, we can change them. Let's have more charisma for example. Different objects we can take. we can change our names, the agent's name, and that's about it. So this is basically a point-and-click adventure, so let's go to the game. ESP is the manual, I think I might have said. With RPG elements and arcade sequences. So certainly the combat's arcade. So let's put the other disc in. Now, I'm not sure if there's any other arcade sequences in it, so I don't think I ever really got on with the game and I never played it very much. I'm not sure why. I quite like it at the minute, but anyway. So here's basically the first location, and we can point and click and do various things. So we get different icons, context sensitive icons, so we can talk. We can go to another location. Is there one up there? I'm not sure about the question mark, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, on the station there's humans and aliens and robots. So if we click 
click there, right click, we've got inventory, look, search, so we've found, what have we found? Crowls, cash, excellent. So we've also got a credit card, which is no good here, we need to change that into Crowls. Health, so we need to eat and drink and sleep. Okay, nothing there, okay. So if I search over here, no. Can I search in different places? Apparently not. Search there, no. Perhaps the question mark's the search place, but anyway. Now if I right, no, yeah, right to all left click, let's see. One minute, let's go back. Left click, we get this icon, and this is Bob. So this is basically, that's a finger, I didn't work it out till just now. So this is like, a bit like Pip in Fallout. So we have Program 1, which shows your st statistics. I don't know if this came before or before that, I think it must have done. Physical condition. We have languages, so we're currently selected alien. We have our cardigraph. And here we have a sort of a little programmable computer. So we can basically make this so we can put something like if this probably won't work, I haven't got it to work yet. If thirsty message one no do we need display message one message select message to enter so we now put thirsty that's message one. That run, I'm missing the end if. Okay. So it's just a bit like the basic language. End if. Normal. Uh, run that. Missing terminator. Run. Excellent. Right. Let's quit. So if we get first, we should now get a warning message come up. So it's quite cool, but I've never really been able to get it to work properly, so I'm not sure if that's actually working. So you just have to look up a guy. So here we are in the restrooms. Although they are equipped for all types of anatomies, they're not very pleasant. So we go in here. He'll pop up. Details, yes. So he's basically going to give us our mission. And he's going to tell us this place is very important to Earth. So if it was seized by an enemy, Earth would be in trouble. So it receives a message that that could soon become a possibility. An outstanding but mad scientist has escaped from a penal college in col colony. And he's Vangor. So it's very bad, apparently. Lost all trace of him, but we've found a trace of a prisoner who escaped with him, Moringo. So our only possible lead. And the Governor General of this place has received an ultimatum, which to cut a long story short, states that if we, we have 10 days to evacuate, after that every human being will be destroyed. And the ultimatum was signed by Vangor. So, here's our equipment apparently, and we've added a hologram of Moringo, so that's where the hologram comes from to, from in the, when we talk to people. So let's search. Ooh, crowds on the floor, okay. Hologram. Weapon. Oh, excellent, we've got weapons. Okay. Health. You have nothing to eat, so you have to go and buy things, possibly pick them up places. Oops. And sleep places, etc. Let's have a look at our health. That's not it. So you can see here, hydration 97, fatigue 1%, so they're all going down. Let's head back to the restrooms and out the door. Is that out the door? No, that's out the door. So we can 
speak let's speak to the robots we've currently got that selected hello hello ask the time ask a question so ask him about Moringo never heard of him this is generally going to be the case let's go over here Okay, loading, loading. Let's look. Let's search. Let's talk to this guy. It's a robot. Show the hologram. Not very good quality, is it? Discuss. Question. About Moringo. You could get hurt asking such questions. Okay. I have nothing of value to sell you. Apologise. Beg your pardon? Okay. So we can steal, attack. Which I'm not going to do. So let's leave him alone. Let's go down here to the club. Oh, open at 1400 hours. Okay. So we've got a machine here. I'm not sure what this does. Is that a credit card? No. Nope. It's a bit fussy, fussy on these details. There we go. Enter number. And uh, I don't think it'll do anything. Okay, Spree Software Programs Limited. What needs converting now? So I think that's probably a random message. Maybe not. But anyway, let's take our card back. Don't want to leave that there. And where else can we go? Astroport Square. Teaming with people is characteristic of the endless activity of Terrapolis. The auto cabs rush about, picking up and dropping off passengers, carrying them to and fro in minutes. So that's so we've got a hotel over here where I'm sure we can sleep. It's also extremely expensive. Okay, so we can put money in. Have we got enough crowls? Or can we use credit? So, plus. So, I'm not sure how this works. It doesn't seem to do anything or show anything. So, perhaps we don't need sleep. Let's talk to this guy. So, hello. No, we've not got the language selected. Let's just go. No, we don't want to. Oh, let's talk to him. Show the hologram. Not very good quality. Yeah. So, he's skunk just a. Hmm. Generic M NPC, I'm not sure. So, we can attack, but I'm not going to. Let's go up here. What's this place? Food centre! Okay. So, we're not going to talk to him because we haven't got alien selected as a language. Can we put... Okay. Okay, naught. Sushi. Su sushi. So we just have to get them right. There we are. Thank you. Take the card. Okay. Inventory. Health. Eat. Ah, Suchi. Okay. We'll eat it. Yum. So we've got nothing more to eat, but that should have put our... Not that one. Program 2. Calories. 198. Okay. So we go out of here. Don't want to do that. Oh, no, attacked. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So when we move locations, nope, perhaps we'll do it now. Probably not a good thing. So select weapons, and then we shoot. Oh, it's the police. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. Doesn't seem to seem to be doing anything. Are we firing? We're just dying. Let's run away. Okay. 
So running away seems to solve everything. So let's go here. Okay, an auto cab waits by the platform. Can we get in? Try again. No, we don't want any more food. What about this place? Exchange centre. So this is where we change credits into crowns. Although, so far we seem to be able to use credits on most things. So. Crack. Crack the kids. Show the hologram. Okay, finished. No, don't. Can we steal? Let's try stealing. No, it didn't. Does it work? I'm never sure. Let's see if we've got anything else. Oh, 812 crowds. We've got quite a bit. Okay. So I'm not quite sure about the stealing. So let's actually attack again. I want to see if we can get this. See if I can get it to work. Let's go out. Nope. Let's attack him. Nope, can't. Let's now is that a hand icon or something there? Let's attack him and try again. Select the weapon. I'm not sure what to do. It's not working. Have we got no ammo? Possibly. I'm gonna die. Let's just die. I think we're done for now. I'll stab you with my pen thing. I think it must be ammo just there. We haven't got. So please insert this one. I think we're basically dead. There we are. We are dead. You failed your mission. Rangor carried out his vile threats and destroyed all the humans on Selenia and a few non-humans as well. Due to the loss of the raw materials supplied by Selenia, Earth became plagued by civil disobedience and fell into a state of anarchy. Today Earth is no more than a vague memory to the thriving new colonies. Yes. So. That's bat. I quite like it, I have to say. It's just a little bit fiddly. Fiddly with the um, pointer. You have to be. In, a, lot of, a lot of the time, you have to be in just the right place. But I think, no, I think it's quite an interesting game these days. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.